A lot of excitement is building around Brittany Griner's release. That's right. Her team, the Phoenix Mercury, showed their gratitude in a statement thanking the Biden administration and saying Brittany's strength is what kept them hopeful. The team also tweeted out a photo of Griner saying, no more days, she's coming home. For more, let's bring in Brittany Griner's teammate, Brianna Turner. She's a forward with the Phoenix Mercury. Brianna, welcome. Um, just your reaction. What does Brittany's release mean to you? Honestly, it's the best holiday gift I could have asked for. I mean, it's it was 294 days. It was long. It was excruciating. Um, but I'm happy that the U.S. government was able to secure her release. And so, Brianna, was the team at all in the loop ahead of today's prisoner swap? Did you guys have a heads up? No, we did not get a heads up. Uh, we've had some meetings with the State Department in the past, and they told us, like, whenever she is released, we probably would find out via the media because they want to keep it, like, very hush-hush. Like, we probably wouldn't find out until she was literally on the plane. So my mom came running to my bedroom this morning saying that, um, Brittany was released and I just kind of woke up like, am I dreaming? Like, am I awake? Like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I imagine it just must be sort of surreal um, to have this moment that you'd been hoping for arrive. I'm wondering how was the team, um, how has the team been sort of supporting Brittany and her family throughout all of this? Yeah, so the WNBA, uh, all, well, we played in the summer, and so this past summer, all the courts said um, we are BG on the court, BG 42, because 42 is her number. So I think the WNBA has done a great job keeping her story alive, keeping her name alive. And also the NBA and the NBA players as well have uh, been advocates for BG's release. So I really think about basketball as a family, and when one of our family members is down, we definitely try to help them out. So, uh, Brianna, how do your teammates and other basketball players who travel a lot uh, – you know, feel about what happened to, you know, to Brittany. Does it give you pause about traveling to certain foreign countries going forward? I think it's definitely difficult. Um, I played in Russia two years ago. Um, people play all over the country. I mean, play all over the world in different countries. So I think maybe it might give people a little bit of hesitation but at the same time. Um, professional athletes' career is very short, so they want to maximize um, their off season and um, really try to obviously get a, get a different job and still make money um, when they're not playing in the summer. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder how the team is responding, Brianna, to Paul Whelan and so many others remaining in detention abroad, because it's something that we heard Brittany's wife talk about during that appearance, right, with President Biden, the fact that, you know, there are Americans like Paul Whelan who are being held. No, definitely. Um, Paul Whelan has been jailed in, a, in Russia since 2018, and obviously that is very sad, and I hope that the U.S. government can continue to secure his, re his release. Earlier this year, we saw Trevor Reed get released from Russia. So I think, obviously, I don't know all the details, but I'm hopeful that the U.S. government um, can work to get Paul out and all other detained Americans abroad. I know, obviously, know the feeling, unfortunately, what it feels like to have someone close to you in that situation. So I would encourage them to stay hopeful and, and don't lose hope for your uh, friends and family. And Brianna, any word on when your teammate may be able to rejoin practices or even games? Honestly, I'm not even concerned about her on-court performance. I'm just hoping that she takes care of her mental health and um, is able to see, be with her wife and be with her family right now, especially around the holidays, and she can reevaluate her future basketball career um, when, she, when she sees fit. Absolutely. She has her priorities straight, yeah, right? Well, yeah. very good news. Um, Brianna Turner, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.